Hey everybody, this is Mr. MathBlog. This lesson is addition with unlike denominators. So we're going to be adding uh, fractions that don't have the same denominator. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. So this is lesson 6-1. Let's take a look at that real quick. So when you get there, here's uh, MrMathBlog.com. And then with, this is a fifth grade class. So fifth grade is way over here. It's this last little link right there. And if you click that, you'll see uh, I have all of uh, one through chapters one through five, and they're all in different colors right here. So uh, chapter six, I'll start right here. So as soon as I get done with this, I'll load it up right there. Okay. So if you guys can, and if your parents will let you, would you click like on this video? And if you can find us on Facebook, that'd be pretty cool too. All right, let's get started here. So here's our common core strand. And our essential question is, how can we use models to add fractions that have different denominators? All right. In this lesson, we're going to be using fraction strips. So everybody's done fraction strips before. So here's one whole. So this is one. And then if we cut it up into two equal parts, then there's one half. If we cut up one whole into three equal parts, then these are one third. Four equal parts gets us one fourth all the way down to one twelfth. So there's twelve of them down here that makes up one whole. Twelve one twelfths right there. All right, so Margaret is making a pattern for a quilt. She uses one half of a yard of light purple fabric and one fourth of a yard of dark purple fabric. How much fabric uh, does she use? Okay. So uh, we're going to use our fraction strips here to find one half plus one fourth. So what we do is we place a half strip and a fourth uh, strip, a fa uh, fraction strip, underneath the whole strip. All right, let's move that up to get us some space. All right, so underneath the whole strip. So there's a whole strip right there, and there's a half strip plus a fourth strip right there. So we're looking for this sum right here. And what we do is we find a fraction, other fraction strips that all have the same denominators that are equivalent to one half and one fourth. Um, okay, and then they fit exactly under the sum. So uh, what fraction strips, if they, they all got to be the same size, so the same denominator can we put underneath here that'll add up to these guys right here. Okay, so uh, there's our fraction strips right here. And can you see, here's one half right here. There's two of these one fourths that'll slip right underneath that half right there. And then we have the other one fourth right there. So uh, so um, this one half becomes two fourths right here. Here's one fourth plus one fourth. So this one half is two fourths. So instead of saying one half plus one fourth, it's now two fourths plus one fourth, okay? And then now they fit right underneath that right there. So now we can record the sum in simplest form. So one half plus one fourth is two fourths plus one fourth. How many fourths are down here? There's three of them down here. So it's equal to three fourths right there. Okay, so Margaret uses three-fourths of a uh, yard of fabric right there. I forgot to put in yard right there. Okay, so how can we tell if the sum of the fraction is less than or greater than one? Well, that's easy enough. If you look underneath this, this is one whole right here. And since one-half plus one-fourth doesn't stretch all the way over to here, it's got to be less than that. So the sum is going to be less than one-fourth. We'll have another one in this lesson where it stretches out past it, so it'll be greater than one. Okay, so how can we, uh, how would we determine what fraction strips all that had the same denominator would fit exactly under one half and one third and what are they okay well we do the same thing right there there's our little fraction strip right there shrunk the picture down here's one hole right here here's one half plus one third so we want to know which ones will fit right underneath underneath here that stretch all the way exactly to the end where this last uh, fraction strip went and this, the one-sixth fraction strip will fit underneath here. And in fact, there are one, two, three, four, five of them. So one-half, this one-half plus one-third is the same as five-sixths right there. Okay, later on we'll discover the relationship between this denominator and this denominator and how it gave us this denominator right here. But that's later. We're using fraction strips right now. So, so uh, explain the difference between finding fraction strips that have same denominators for the last one we just did, one-half plus one-third, and for the first one, one-half plus one-fourth. All right. Well, with one-half plus one-third... Um, neither one of these fractions was a multiple of the other. So we had to find another fraction strip uh, that lined up with the end of, at this very sum right here. So we had to mix and match and find out which ones of these will line up at the very end. But 
that with the one half right here, this one half is a multiple of one fourth right here. So the fraction strips with the same denominator is just going to be that one fourth. It's the same one as that one right there. So if it's a multiple, that's going to be most chances your denominator. Sometimes the sum of two fractions will be greater than one. So when adding fractions with unlike denominators, we can use the one whole strip to determine if the sum is greater than or less than one. So this one's going to be greater than. So use fraction strips to solve three fifths plus one half. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to place three one fifth fraction strips that'll represent three fifths uh, underneath uh, the one whole strip, and then we'll place uh, a one half fraction strip besides the three one fifth uh, strips right there. Okay. All right, so there we are. There's three one fifths. That's our three fifths right there. And then here's the one half right there. Can you see this sum is greater than one because it stretches out past that? All right, and then like in the last lesson, we're going to find other fraction strips. They're going to be much smaller, all that have the same denominator that are going to be equivalent to uh, three fifths and one half when we add it together. So we'll place the fraction strips under the sum, and so we just got to mix and play around a little bit. And we're going to find out that the tenth fraction strips will stretch out all the way to the exact end right here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six fifths is the same as, I'm sorry, six tenths is the same as three fifths. And one, two, three, four, five, five tenths is the same as one half right there. Okay, all right. So three fifths is the same as uh, six tenths, and one half is the same as five tenths. And so now we can add six tenths plus five tenths because they have common denominators. Okay. Put those in there, 6 tenths plus 5 tenths is going to give us 11 tenths, okay? Or, and then just think, how many fraction strips with the same denominator are equal to 1? Well, let's go back over here. To equals to 1, there was um, uh, these 10 of them starting right here. Here's 1 right here. So here's 10 of them. So these 10 make 1. So this is 1, and then we have 1 left over, 1 tenth. Okay, so that 11 tenths is the same as 1 and 1 tenth right there. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. Don't forget, you can find all your lessons at mrmathblog.com. Take care. I hope you're having a great year.